Annie says, I plan to install a new local standalone server for manufacturing software that requires SQL Express. The server will not be connected a, a local domain and configured to not perform any typical server roles except remote app publishing and remote access for manufacturing software support and admin for me. All client machines and users within the business are now enrolled on um, at Microsoft 365 Business with some business premium with Intune, meaning we have we no longer have a local domain controller and AD is within Intune Azure. Here's my question. What is the best practice for standalone server setup? Do I install the new server operating system and straight sign in with an, an admin 365 account or use admin at on Microsoft, thus enrolling straight into Microsoft 365? Uh, I'm confused. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was easy. That wasn't so, as scary as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, before we started recording here, I believe Mike said this one was easy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it, it, I even said it before you, asked, you, you said the question, but listening to it again, um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a little confused, so I just want to make sure because this is uh, one of those questions that we always talk about where we need we need Johnny Five need more me more input, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, a standalone server, piece of cake, right? You're just installing the new OS, and if you are going to have this thing talking to Intune, which I see here that that is their one of their objectives, um, is to sign in with a uh, regular domain account. Don't use the on Microsoft account. That is nobody. You should really never be using the on Microsoft account, right? Because what it is is that's the back. That's back door. That's what the the original intent of on Microsoft. You know your domain dot on Microsoft dot com. Uh, the reason why they created that is because number one for onboarding, uh, but number two it was a back door. So if you ever lost your domain, you can still get into your tenant. I just uh, had to use that. That's such a good point because I just had to use that recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's part of the reason for why that reason. it was created. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's really no reason when you're setting up something that's going to be in production because you're talking about SQL Express and uh, it won't be performed any typical server roles except, and then you have remote app publishing, which is a big server role, okay, because it's like you're running Citrix. Um, but you're actually running terminal services um, and remote access for manufacturing support and admin for me. So you're setting up a server to access remotely applications remotely. This server is going to be doing a lot of work. You, you make it, you know, not to make it sound like it's not doing any work, but it actually is. And this server needs to be connected to Intune in order to be managed by Intune. So install it with an OS, install it with a uh, regular domain account in M365 um, and just install, you know, the role uh, of the remote uh, or the terminal services, they call it remote app now. Um, and, you know, make sure you have your the proper licensing on it because you need extra SKUs in order to enable that. Um, and that's it. You should be, you should be good to go. It's local domain controller doesn't, doesn't play into into this, if you have Intune uh, integrated with AAD, uh, so there's really no issue there. And it says the server will not be connected a local domain. If you're working with Intune, it shouldn't be connected to a local domain. It should it should be connected to AAD anyway. So um, that's that's about it. Simple. It's just that easy. And again, like silence. That. It's again silence. It's like Whenever I wow. get an explanation talking about, you know, Azure, because I'm an Azure person, I'm not an office person, Christian always used to give me grief because everybody would sit there and go, hmm, is he really telling the truth here? Does he know what he's talking about? <laughs> um, right, no, I, will read, I will be the first to admit We all love you, Mike. We all love you. what you're talking about. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an office person. That's what you're there for. That's what all of you are. You're. you're you are here for <laughs> Azure number one, SharePoint number two, telephony number three. We all and, know that. Oh, wait. Teams comes before oh. that. Teams comes before oh. that. <laughs> yeah.